Okay. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nick, this is Foffy, and um, if you haven't seen any of our episodes before, then uh, we're basically fumbling our way through making a new life in central Portugal um, with a rescue to hook. So um, if you've watched last last week's episode, you'd know that we've been taking out, we were taking out a wall to put in a temporary kitchen um, to make our lives more comfortable over the winter months. I've had young Dave working with me all week because he's um, really got, there's two different systems of plumbing in Portugal and Dave's adept at both of them. So he's come and give me a hand to get um, all the plumbing sorted out for the new kitchen and for the other things that we've done this week. So um, if you want to find out what we managed to achieve this week, then you're going to have to watch the episode. That's the objective. So, um, so yeah, it's been a really busy week. Uh, I'm really pleased with the progress we've made and uh, I hope you enjoy this. If you do, then please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell and um, I'll see you later on. You've got to scratch your ear. Ciao. So I've marked out the area I need to cut out for my sink. Um, this is a top tip if you use a bit of masking tape and you can see your pencil lines a lot clearer and also it helps stop chipping out. And then I'll draw four holes in each corner and now I'm gonna cut it out with a jigsaw. So this is the finished temporary kitchen. Uh, it's from Leroy Merlin. I've got to get a couple of feet to support this end here. 
um, but it's basically their basics range. Uh, this double unit, double cupboard carcass and doors was fifty nine ninety nine. This one was forty nine ninety nine, uh, fifty nine ninety nine. The sink was forty one euros. The tap was twenty five euros. The uh, end cap was four euros. The joining bar was four euros, and the worktop was one hundred and five euros. So all in all, it's just an incredibly cheap kitchen. But the difference it's made to our lives is massive. Uh, that's full of food. That's full of plates. That's full of cleaning stuff. So it's just made um, our life amazing. So um, yeah, and then this will eventually go into the cottage down there. So um, and uh, before you at me, they don't do. They don't do a corner piece, a corner bar for this particular range of units. So uh, I'll just put in uh, an L bracket and left that empty. Okay. Morning, Dave. Morning. So all the work that we've had going on in the house started from we need a wood burner. Yeah, <laughs> it's some warmth. Winter is coming. Winter, winter is coming. Yep. Um, and literally, um, see the lovely from, wood burner. From we need a wood burner because the, the gas bottles are quite expensive and our heater just just absolutely rips through them. Um, we thought right, we need to put a wood burner just here. Yep. And that meant we had to move the fridge over to the other side. Um, so then it just kind of spiralled into. Um, lots of other things. Hot water, having, having lights, having sockets. Um, so the, uh, the wood burner is made by a company called Oliverinha, which is a Portuguese brand and it's uh, cast iron and um, they're no longer available. So there was the, this was the last six that was in the shop and we managed to get one. So uh, we've also got the genius that is young Dave here who's come to help me pop this through the roof um, because that's above my pay grade. And uh, he's going to explain the whys of the different components required to get this through a wooden roof. So it's nice to have the single skin in the room because you get a lot of heat radiating from the pipe. So show us the inside of that one. This is a single. So that's just a single skin. Single skin. Okay. We'll have these going up towards towards the roof, but important to go through the roof and to be outside, you need the insulated double skin pipe. Okay. Now there's two reasons for this. Yep. One is the pipe gets very hot without the insulation. Yep. You don't want to set fire to your roof. It's not a good idea. No. Nope. It's not big. It's not clever. Um, and also it protects the pipe from getting in, uh, condensation inside, which will then run down and ruin your nice, lovely log burner. Okay. Um, so we have on the top, this is to catch sparks and embers to make sure they don't fly off and set fire to the countryside. I'd, ima also, I'd imagine it also stops a bit of rain. It stop and that's the other thing, it stops rain coming down because we do get a fair bit of rain in the winter. Yep. Um, this will go through this. We've managed to get hold of this fantastic lead slate. I've not seen lead in Portugal at all because I don't think you're actually supposed to be using lead, but apparently you can for um for flue pipes that, i mean that is that's massive isn't it it's massive it's very good quality it was very expensive as and well. very expensive <laughs> <laughs> so sealed and riveted on the middle this is um stainless steel because you wouldn't want lead against the actual pipe itself really and then as an extra rain guard you've got this collar goes over the pipe seals against it just to stop any rain going down the pipe. Amazing. And we're going to put it all together, sealing the joints. Well, this is basically like fire cement, I suppose. It's a fireproof mastic. Okay. And that uh, stops any carbon monoxide coming out of the joints and smoke and smells. Okay, amazing. And so... hold, the, hold the cowl on with this clip. Beautiful. Stop it blowing away in the wind. Which we get quite a lot of here. Now what we've got to do is hopefully make a hole directly above. Okay. That's the next job. Bye. The brightest sky I have ever seen. The most colourful one like a dream. You wake me up with a new white smile. And I know I'm truly alive. I want to save every moment now Hold tight my love, we got this one right And if this
It's a bit soporific for you, isn't it? Okay, Dave, so we've had um, quite a busy week here. You've been incredibly busy. Um, do you want to tell us, should we start here? Yeah, this is, uh, so the source of the water is coming in this way through the meter. Yeah. Um, we had to replace the stop valve because well, the plastic pipe going in through the building snapped off. All these pipes are plastic and they're, they're quite fragile. So trying to replace this part here was quite difficult because the new bits have to be exactly the same length as what was there. So we had to mess around with various adapters, got it in, all good. So okay, that and, goes then, and then that feeds, that goes into... Through the wall, yep. into yep. here. So there used to be an old brass tap here, it's gone now. Yep. So now the cold water supply comes in and it supplies this. Okay, so this is, it's an Ariston and it's 1500 watts, 100 litres and it services four people and uh, it's, uh, it's got a very high efficiency rating and uh, it's got a memory system so it learns when you uh, need water and then it will heat it up so it kind of yeah, it learns like, as you go. Like a smart boiler. A really. smart boiler, yeah. And yeah. eventually that will go into the cottage. Yes. So it's fixed up quite high. Two reasons. One, so you don't bang your head on it. And two, it was difficult to get any fixings on the wall to support it. Because yeah. obviously it's very heavy when it's full of water. Yeah. So you need very good fixings for it. And, um, and it maybe helps with a bit of gravity. Yeah, I think so. Bit. Most it's mostly pushed through with a with a water pressure. Okay. But a bit of gravity, you know, does not help. Gonna hurt. It's not gonna hurt. Right. So from here, yeah. cold water supply coming in. Yeah. This pipe goes through into here, goes under the floor of the house, through along the ceiling of the Adega. Yeah. Through to the kitchen, which we'll get to in a minute. Okay. And also the hot through to the kitchen. Yeah. So you've got hot and cold feed going to the kitchen. Going that way. This yep. way we've got so under the, under the ground, there's the existing cold water feed goes out to the bathroom. Yep. And we'll, now also has hot water because we've t uh, teed off here, gone along, and then out through the wall there, which was an absolute pig to drill through. It was a bit of a nightmare, <laughs> wasn't it? It was. Got the drill bit stuck in the wall. Yeah. Okay, so that's the hot water feed to the bathroom, which is a very important thing because we now have... So we also have... Light. We also had light. We'll come back to that. Yeah, we'll come back to that one. 
So solar showers are wonderful in the in summertime the summer. when yeah. it's sunny and in the winter they're hideous. Yes. So so we now have hot yeah. feed, hot feed coming through. Here. Yeah. The cold feed from the existing cold supply. Yeah. Yay. And also the overhead. Rainfall well, shower. I mean look at that. It's a bit of a squeeze getting in, it's compacted down to its minimum height, but um, it's there. And um, we had a bit of fun trying to, oh, yeah. <laughs> trying, yeah. <laughs> trying to get that to drain. This was blocked solid, so we've had wires down, it would drain, drain wires. Drain cleaner. Drain cleaner, and oh my God, trying to get everything. We've got it clear now, it's draining now, but there was a lot of gunge in there. There was stuff in there. There was unpleasant stuff. Uh, yeah, it, was, it was very unpleasant. It was particularly unpleasant smelling stuff, but it, it's done now. Um, and also some nick now. Oh, yeah. Nice shave. Hot shave. We now have a hot, hot water tap. Unfortunately, it has a, a blue thing on the top because it didn't supply a red one as well. Yeah. <laughs> and a little bit of replacement plumbing here. Yeah. Okay, so we have a look in the Adega. Let's go and have a look. So in here we've got the hot and the cold yeah fixed to the side of the of the joist yeah all the way through here all the way along here just around the bend i think you're going to insulate no, them aren't no. you you're going to put some lagging on them you're going to put them. some lagging on them yeah yeah and then it just goes up through the floor okay into the temporary kitchen yeah uh to the hot and cold tap amazing a lot of this is temporary, but then it's it's important to make your house comfortable while you're doing all Absolute, the other work. Absolutely. I mean, this is the thing. We're kind of um, we're going to be living in this house and doing the work on the cottage there. Um, so we're just trying to make it uh, as comfortable as we possibly can. Yes. Okay. Oh, she's a good girl. Oh, she's a good girl. <laughs> good girl. All right, Fluffy. Tummy tickles. Right, so, so this is our beautiful but temporary kitchen. So the hot and cold feed come up to this mixer tap. They come up around the back there. Yeah. Put a waste pipe out through that wall. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you want to look under your cupboard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's all right, yeah. So the, what, the hot and cold come in there yeah and there we have i mean that nice. that is literally it's hot luxury mixer. um you know we've been sort of heating up water with a kettle and then using this bowl here and then taking the bowl of water out yeah um so yeah to, to kind of have you know a, a, a it's good to put in something temporary to make life more bearable while you're renovating a house yeah we you know we've done the same thing at first you think, oh, it's a waste of money doing it twice, but it's not. It's a, it's a necessary part of being able to live in your house while you're renovating uh, and also to I mean, make it comfortable. I'm going to go um, through later on how much this cost, and it was relatively cheap. And yeah. then when, um, when it's ready, these units will then go into the cottage as well. So they yes. will be reused, the water heater will be reused. The shower will be reused. Yeah. It will all get reused. So yeah. it's, you know, it hasn't been a waste at all. Yeah. Um, and then finally, one thing you've been doing is um, putting in some plugs. Well, yeah, there was no sockets, no light switches, no lights. We just we had one socket. One socket next yeah. to the thing. So we have a, a small additional consumer unit here. So from there, we've run some some of this black conduit. Yeah, which is important because all the wire is single strand. It's not it's not coated wire here, not covered wire. So we now have. A light which lights the whole area. Yeah. Um, we have a we socket got, for the water heater. Yeah, we've got two sockets down two here. Two sockets down there. Got sockets in the and kitchen. Sockets in the kitchen. And obviously the light in the bathroom and we, as well. There is a light in the bathroom now as well. And um, and look at this. And then obviously <laughs> this is this was this, the last. The last. Yeah, this thing. was the last thing. But Piste uh, resistance. I, yeah, ironically, this was. Um, it was all about getting this wood burner in. 
Yes, that's what it started yeah, with. It started off, can, Dave, can you help me get a wood burner in? Yeah. And then it's like, oh, well, we can, do that. we're we doing can... that, we could do that. And then you're like, oh, well, do you want some hot water? It's like, oh, yeah, that'd be nice. Well, we need electric for that. <laughs> <laughs> then we might as well put some sockets and lights in. So, yeah, so it's been um, it's been a busy old week, but um, it's, I mean, literally, it's transformed our life. Yeah. So, thank you, Dave. You're very welcome. I think, um, is that, Arwen's just pulled up, hasn't she? Oh, yeah. So it's my better uh, half is coming okay. to, come so to this pick is, me up. This is Arwen. She's come to give Dave a lift home. You come to pick up this hero? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> We've had a busy day. He's yeah. been absolutely incredible. Well, we got it done. It's all working. It's all done now. Thank goodness. So, cup of tea? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay, guys. So uh, you already know this man here, this is uh, young Dave, Dangerous Dave, um, from such hits as um, Slap a Roof on a Ruin, and uh, No, I Don't Need Scaffolding, <laughs> and um, I Don't Mind Falling Off, It's the Landing I Don't Like. Yeah, this is very true. So you know Dave. Dave has obviously done the roof on the ruin. Uh, he's helped me do all the plumbing and the electrics in the house. Um, and he's just been an absolute genius and a star, and obviously the wood burner as well, which is roaring away beside us. Um, but you've never met, or you haven't yet met, Arwen, his beautiful wife. So, um, Dave and Arwen have been very, I've been trying to get them to do a YouTube channel for about a year and a half now, isn't it? It's been it is a long time that, I've yeah. been on at them, and they've been very reluctant to do it. Um, but um, they've just decided to take the plunge and do a YouTube channel and put out some really helpful building tips with Dave and some other stuff with you. What stuff are you going to be doing, Arwen? Um, so it's basically, if you're a builder's wife but you have a house that needs renovating, Dave leaves me with whatever tools he's not using. The not very good ones. <laughs> and... <laughs> And some helpful tips, and then I get on with the renovation of our house. It's typical builder's wife. It's like where you haven't got time to do your own, your own work, so it's now in your hands. Yeah. So Dave's leaving me with tips and advice, and then I'm getting on with some DIY at our house that also needs renovating. Um, but also, um, I was a secondary school art teacher in the UK for a decade so I'll be doing some arts and crafts. I also quite enjoy cooking um, so I'll be doing some cooking, some recipes so it's not just DIY but it's mainly centered around renovating our house. Hopefully we'll also be um, maybe doing some trips out and showing you some places around Portugal, nice places to visit, some cities, some countryside, hopefully get a glimpse of some wildlife um, and just try and give you an idea what it's like to live in Portugal. I mean, literally, these guys live on the next mountain along, um, higher up than us. You're 800 metres, aren't you? Nearly 900. 900. Yeah. We're, we're only 400 metres. Right on the so. top. I think we're the highest occupied house. Wow. It's, um, it's a, a long way up. Oh, and what's, the, what's your channel going to be called? Um, it's called Portugal Muse. Okay. And uh, is it live now? It is live, yeah. <laughs> okay. So the first, your first video is going up um, today. Yeah. So the first episode's up there. Do you want to say why it's called Portugal Muse? Um, so I'm Welsh, um, Dave's English, um, so my name's Awen, which in Welsh means Muse, so we decided to call the channel Portugal Muse. Oh, and you could also see our dogs as well, Bran and Griff, two Border Collies. We're also Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 um, the commands that you use for your dogs is all in Welsh. Yeah, yeah. so I'm, I'm Welsh first language. Um, so I don't really get to speak to anyone in Welsh anymore, but I speak to the dogs in Welsh because they're from Bala, they're from Wales, um, and I've always spoken to them in Welsh. They so. have a very good command of Cymraeg, but they pretty much ignore me speaking English. Uh, they just give me a filthy look. So, um, so they bark in Welsh then? Yeah, they bark in Welsh. <laughs> they understand some Portuguese as well, so they, you know, they're, yeah, they're trilingual. Yeah, trilingual dogs. So if they, they met, if they ever met Fuffy, they're going to have a real, real trouble in communicating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I am absolutely super excited uh, to, to watch uh, your channel. I used to go to Dave and Arwen's cafe, Aromaticus, in Espinal, and um, 
and Arwen's food is incredible. It was literally, it was just a joy every time uh, we went to eat there. So I'll be really interested to see your, your cookery as well. Yeah, you can also find Portugal Muse on Facebook. Yeah, and Instagram. And Instagram. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And hopefully we'll be putting some useful tips on, on how to survive in Portugal as, a, as an immigrant. So if you could please like, share, comment and subscribe. Um, to their channel. Thank you. See you next week. Thanks, guys. What is it, Fuffy? What is it, Fuffy? What is it, Fuffy? What do you want, Fuff? Fuffy, what do you want, Fuffy? Oh, are you dancing? <laughs> what is it, Fuffy? What is it, Fuffy? What is it, Fuffy? Tell me. Tell me, Fuffy. Tell me, Fuffy. What do you want? What do you want, Puff? What do you want, baby? <laughs> oh, my girl. So this is Rui. You may know him from previous hits, such as My Balls Are Too Big. And um, well, why have you taken me to the vets? And where are my balls? There is top three hits. Anyway, we are literally about two one and a half, two k's from home, through the forest, and um, he's just decided he's coming for a walk with me and Foffy. Foffy's up on a head somewhere. Foffy! <whistles> well, I bet get this cat home before the javelin finder. Him. <laughs> Come on, Rui. Come on, Rui. 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 You're a good boy. It's all right. Oh, that's Puffy.